Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to make this super fluffy French toast, so let's get started with the video. Begin by cutting a few thick slices of brioche bread. Then, cut the crust off your slices of brioche bread. When you're finished, set your slices of bread to the side. Next, in a bowl, add 2 tablespoons of melted butter. Then add 2 eggs. Whisk the butter and eggs together until smooth. Then add 2 thirds cup of heavy cream. Mix the heavy cream in and then add 2 tablespoons of white sugar, 2 tablespoons of light brown sugar, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a bit of nutmeg, and cinnamon. Whisk everything together until well combined. When you're finished making your custard, set it to the side. Next, place a piece of brioche bread into a baking dish. Then pour some of your custard on top of the slice of bread. Make sure your slice of brioche bread is completely soaked in the custard. Then add another piece of bread on top. Add more custard and then make sure the second slice of bread is completely soaked as well. Then just repeat this process with the rest of your bread. When you're finished, cover and place your bread in the fridge for 1-2 to two hours or overnight. Once your bread is chilled in the fridge, you can begin cooking them. In a large pan over low or medium low heat, add butter. Once your butter has melted, place your french toast in the pan. Cook your french toast on each side, including the edges, until golden brown. Then 
Then add sugar to your French toast and flip to cook. This will create a really nice crust. Do the same to the other side of your French toast. Look how fluffy it is! Once your French toast has finished cooking, take it out of the pan and repeat this process with the rest of your bread. Once you're finished cooking all of your French toast, you can go ahead and plate everything up. And this is the finished result! The French toast was delicious and do not worry, it is not soggy at all. It was super fluffy and tasted great. And it looks amazing. I saw someone use this method to make French toast on TikTok, I'll have the link down in the description. And after seeing it, I really wanted to try it for myself. And I'm glad I did because this came out great. Oh, and listen to this. crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!